you, Mr. Speaker. Today we'll have a vote on a flawed, massive, and irresp irresponsible health care takeover by government pushed by Speaker Pelosi and House Democrats that will cost more than $1 trillion. This bill will increase health care costs, increase taxes, while Americans struggle to find work and hurt seniors' quality care. Mr. Speaker, as a heart surgeon, I saw the amazing innovation in my 20 years of practice in our system. In fact, in the early 1950s, an American surgeon observing the death of a patient, hopelessly observing the death of a patient from blood clots to the lungs, was inspired and invented the first heart-lung machine that made open-heart surgery possible. Many thousands of patients worldwide have benefited from this innovation, this innovation right here in the United States, innovation that will be stifled by the Pelosi health care bill. There's another way. We can do better. House Republicans have solutions that will lower cost by creating real choice and competition. We will help those with pre-existing conditions to get meaningful health care coverage. We'll preserve U.S. leadership in medical innovations and ed education. And we'll reduce frivolous lawsuits in medicine that needlessly drive up the cost for families. As a heart surgeon, I know that we can achieve real health care reforms to bring down costs, but the Democrats' current bill will only lead to higher costs for millions of Americans and destroy what's currently working in our system. There's a better way. There's a different way. There's a way to lower health care costs, help more people achieve a high-quality doctor-patient relationship in this country, and improve health care for all Americans. Vote down this bill and support the Republican plan. And I yield back. The gentleman from Louisiana yields back.